I think that art should make people feel they understand something about material. Yeah, I use very simple, commonplace materials. It's a way of valorizing those commonplace materials, as well as uh, trying to let the human spirit know that, assuming somebody is in very low spirits and meets uh, my work, which is made from very low quality bottle cap, which you normally would see thrown on the street, you know, it should give the fellow some hope that, uh, after all, uh, there is something to be alive for. A Renaissance art was more like something that you approach with the eyes. It's about copying from nature, but my predilection was for the abstract works because I think that they have more challenges in them and have more versatility of interpretation. I was born in Ghana, southeastern Ghana. My hometown is Anyako. I uh, spent my childhood growing up with an uncle who was a reverend in the Presbyterian Church. And so I lived in a mission house. School kind of was something brought in from Europe, modeled along European lines. For instance, in art history, you were taught about uh, European and occasionally Asian art, you know, and not anything about Africa. So right from the beginning, I've tried to indigenize my consciousness by way of ideas, by way of material. And from that point, I've been always working with material that I see in my environment. I'm in New York to work on my piece, which is being installed on the High Line in Chelsea. I'm there to instruct the mounting crew on how to get it up. Oh yeah, I like that uh, crease, but this one, they haven't gotten it yet. Imagine the labor involved in punching holes on. These are manually done. <laughs> You could do six inch square in about two hours. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so imagine the millions of punches, you know, of the nail that went into this. Well, it's a good thing for one to be uh, seen at this scale. It is challenging 